I'll start at verse 6, and I'll just go all the way down. It says, you know, for when we were still without strength, in due time, Christ died for the ungodly. Now, of course, you know, I don't know if that was born godly. I mean, you know, I thought that would be everybody, but hey, I can be wrong. You know? Even Maybe the elect are ungodly people. until their point of salvation. Right, but so are the sinners, and yet Christ died for the ungodly. So, You're but then again, hey, I can be wrong. But um, it says that, for scarcely is a righteous man saved, yet perhaps for a good man would even die. But God demonstrates his own love toward us, in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Much more than having now have been uh, justified by his blood, we shall be saved from the wrath through him. For if when we were enemies, we were uh, reconciled to God through the death of his son, much more having been reconciled, shall we be saved by his life. Yeah. And it says, and not yeah. only that, oh, sorry. I was just going to say, you recognize the distinction between us, which is mentioned quite a bit, right? Yeah, no, he's, he's talking to a specific crowd at times. I know that. I see that clearly. I agree. Um, right, well, when you said he died for the ungodly, the Bible doesn't say he yeah. died for all the ungodly. That's what your assumption is that you place in the Scripture. Are all people ungodly? Right. All people are ungodly, but it doesn't say that he died for all the ungodly. That's the assumption. Yeah. Well, he said that you know they died for the ungodly, and if yeah. you're saying all people are ungodly... Mm -hmm. That's why you have to take in all Scripture into account. You can't just isolate yeah. a verse. You can't just... You I'll can't see exactly just, yeah. Well, I see, I see you I'll guys see. doing that a lot, where you're trying to get an exclusive out of a single scripture. No. Well, I just wanted to continue. Oh, I'll see well, exactly. of that Romans 5, too. When it's appropriate, we will focus on one scripture I at mean, a time. Well, even when you say that Christ died for sinners, I'd like to know who isn't a sinner. Oh. Who's not a sinner? We're all sinners. Everybody's a sinner. Exactly. Christ died for sinners. Everyone is a sinner. It doesn't say he died for all sinners. Uh, I'd have to... You guys are adding to, the, to that. No, I'm just oh, saying it oh, follows oh. logically. I'm giving you a logical no, syllogism. Christ it, died for sinners. Everyone is a sinner. He died for everyone. Well, if he died for everyone, then everybody will go to heaven. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm bringing man's no. philosophy to the <laughs> yeah. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Wait, what did everybody. Winston say? Man's philosophy? I'm sorry, but this is the trick that Matt Slick yeah. will use no. all the time. Matt Slick doesn't? I've never heard Matt Slick do that. Yeah, he does. He uses the Philosophy's either or dilemma. No, but yes. the thing is that the thing is that and you preach that it follows logically, and it doesn't necessarily it doesn't necessarily follow logically because sinners I could say if if Christ died for Two sinners. That you know that that statement would still be true. That's the thing is like saying all sinners. That's a that's a pretty big. Yeah, but you can um, you can see the, this is where I Matt Slick uses the syllogism all the time. It's either universalism hey guys, or back. it's limited atonement. Hey, now, I say that there is a perfect um, exceptions within. Um, a statement are perfectly logical, as in if I was to say. All the butterflies in this box are white, except for butterfly B that is blue. Now, are all butterflies white? No. The statement is saying all butterflies are white, except for one that is blue. So, the either-or dilemma doesn't really fly. That there are exceptions and statements that have an exception in them, Using a universal, uh, using universal all, makes perfect sense. You, you, you say, don't have to accept universalism. Did you say before?